that's why when I finally got my own shot to do my own show on Netflix, I named that shit Patriot Act. Hi, I'm Swati Chopra and you're listening to Do I Like It? A Quint production where we review anything and everything under the sun. And in this episode, I will tell you, do I like Hasan Minhaj, the King's Jester? In life, things happen. And even if nothing's happening, <laughs> that's still something happening, right? So on this show, we talk about things that happen. We get an esteemed panel of highly jobless people to answer the million dollar question. Do I like it? Do you remember the American comedian who landed himself in a controversy when he was critical of the Saudi government? So much so that his special was pulled from Saudi Arabia. Well, no points for guessing that I'm talking about Hasan Minhaj, the stand-up comic who's also a writer, producer and has won two Peabody Awards. He was recognized for his work on The Daily Show as a senior correspondent and spiraled to success with Patriot Act, a weekly comedy show on Netflix. And now, after the success of Homecoming King, he's back to the home turf with another one-hour special with The King's Jester. The King's Jester is a bold set told by a captivating storyteller. He engages, he draws you in and keeps you hooked with his fascinating stories from the word go. Hassan transitions effortlessly from talking about infertility to harmless jokes about his contemporaries to making strong revelations about his child's life being in danger and his craving for fame. Do you guys want to know a secret? Well, that's how his set begins. As Hassan talks about his experience with infertility and brings to the fore that his wife was not responsible for them not having children, it almost seems so refreshing. People are often so hesitant to even speak about it. And this bit about infertility from his set also stirred a conversation about it on social media. And in my opinion, that's what sets like this should do. Because comedy is not just about the laughs, it can also be about these things. Hassan talks about how he landed his first joke as a teenager in a post-9-11 America, which is truly heartbreaking. He talks about selling a terrorist attack in front of an FBI agent when he almost got arrested. That joke saved his life. And that's what gave birth to Patriot Act later in his life. Well, you know what the tragedy is? Hassan narrates. The first joke I ever told saved my life. And then he goes on to add, and now my stupid ass jokes almost cost me my baby's life. This for me encompasses the set. Well, Hassan then goes on to relay instances from his past when his jokes landed his family in danger. When Hassan critiqued the Saudi government's assassination of journalist Kamal Khashoggi, he faced a lot of backlash. This is when Hassan saw fame up close as he started trending on social media for the material he was putting out. It was this very fame that put Hassan on the map, but it also put his family in danger as he craved for clout and celebrity status. As you see Hassan standing on this gaudy production set, narrating stories from his past, it almost tugs at your heart. You feel for the man, you feel for his family. It made me feel connected to him. There is one personal anecdote from the set that really got me. It's him coming back from a walk with his child in a pram and as he enters his building, he is welcomed with fan mail and he's so excited, he kind of rushes, he opens that fan mail and white powder falls on his child. The fact that the white powder could have been anthrax and that child would have been in danger, it really sends shiver down my spine. The King's Jester, however, is not as controversial as his patriotic act. Though Hassan takes a dig at the King, the Indian Prime Minister and the now late Queen and slides in casually about Priyanka Chopra's wedding being fake or who marries Nick Jonas unironically. Malala follows me on Instagram, but I don't follow her back. It almost felt like an attempt to move away from the provocative stance that he is known to take as he makes it abundantly clear that comedy is a matter of life and death. As Hassan deals with the satire versus sincerity theme, he trusts viewers to distinguish between the two. While he provides evidence to support his anecdotes, some stories seem too far-stretched and leave you wondering how do you discern between the two. So should you watch it? I think you should. The King's Jester is about an immigrant trying to fit in, a comedian's addiction to his celebrity status, the effects of it and the importance of drawing the line to protect what's yours. Well, I suggest you watch The King's Jester for its personal, thoughtful, sketched out stories that humanizes the man behind him as he narrates them in a powerful way. Though I did find it a little bit self-serving in bits, but I definitely cut him some slack and I think you can too. 
while well, he was hoping the audience can differentiate between satire and sincerity and view comedy as it's supposed to be for laughs and to start conversations about issues that need to be addressed well that was all for this episode thanks for listening do i like it is a quint production executively produced by ritu kapoor and shelly valia hosted by me swati chopra produced and edited by anjali palod and music from netflix and bmg production you were listening to the quints podcast